Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adebue, the General of Ourself, the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Saturday, the 23rd day of March 2024, and our topic for today is Counseling Curses. Let us pray. Our Father, we worship and we bless your name, King of Glory. We are grateful for your love. We are grateful for the life that we have. Thank you also for the gift of your word that you have given to us. Thank you for how you have kept us and protected us and brought us to be gathered at your feet again. We ask, O Lord, today that the entrance of your word would give light. Let your spirit brood over your word today and let it bring liberation to many. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 reads, Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Our text for today is in two parts. We would be reading first from the book of Genesis chapter 49 from verse 5 to 7 and from the book of Numbers chapter 3 from verse 44 to verse 45. Genesis chapter 49, reading from verse 5 to verse 7, reads, Simon and Levi are brethren. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitations. O my soul, come not thou into their secret, unto their assembly. Mine honor, be not thou united. For in their anger they slew a man, and in their self-will they digged down a wall. Cursed be their anger, for it was fierce, and their wrath, for it was cruel. I will divide them in Jacob, and scatter them in Israel. Genesis chapter 49, reading from verse 5 to verse 7. We are reading the next part now from Numbers chapter 3, from verse 44 to verse 45. Numbers chapter 3, verse 44 to 45 reads, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take the Levites instead of all the firstborn, among the children of Israel, and the cattle of the Levites instead of their cattle, and the Levites shall be mine. I am the Lord. Numbers chapter 3, verse 44 to 45. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, our topic for today is cancelling curses. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says to us that there are many people walking around with curses that they do not have to carry. There are families suffering under curses that they no longer have to suffer. Beloved, if you are in such a situation, I bring good news to you. Curses placed by men can be cancelled. And I pray for you today that all curses placed on you are cancelled in Jesus' name. In Joshua chapter 6 verse 26, Joshua placed a curse on Jericho. And from that moment on, the people of Jericho suffered under the curse. Many prophets came and went, but the people of Jericho continued to suffer in silence under the curse. At last, when Elijah was taken away, they realized that if they didn't do something about the curse, their land will remain barren and the death will be rampant amongst them forever. So they called on Elisha to help them. In 2 Kings chapter 2 verse 19 to 22, Elisha said, Go and bring me salt in a new cruise. They brought it to him, and he took it in his hands, and went to the source of their river, poured in the salt, and said, Thus said the Lord, I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more debt or barren land. From that day, the curse was cancelled. Any curse on your life or family can also be cancelled today if you refuse to continue living under it. All you need is a person with a higher power or anointing to break the curse. If the curse was placed by your biological father, 
you can go to your spiritual father and he can cancel the curse. This is because the spiritual controls the physical. Also, if it was placed by a man or woman of God, go to a minister of God who has a greater anointing than that fellow and he or she can cancel the curse. If the curse was placed by a witch or wizard, an anointed man or woman of God can cancel it because the anointing breaks yokes. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 Beloved, we must however also note that beyond going to any man or woman of God to cancel curses on your behalf, you must seek God's anointing as well. You must pray, fast, study your Bible, and fellowship with God so much that you begin to carry His glory and power. When you do this, no curse can rest on you. If God is with you like He was with the Israelites in Numbers 24, you will be blessed and no curse will be able to rest on you. God bless His word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is cancelling curses. Curses are real, and although they are real and operational in the lives of many, our Father in the Lord today tells us that many people do not have to carry these curses. He tells us that they are suffering under curses that they no longer have to suffer. So we are told that curses placed by men can be cancelled. Hallelujah! You will agree with me that curses can be responsible for limiting and even truncating the fulfillment of the destinies of many. Taking a look at the man called Jabez, scripture tells us about him in 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 and 10, which reads, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. Jabez, although he was said to be more honorable than his brethren, had probably started to see the negative manifestations of sorrow in his life and the potential for it to ruin him. So in verse 10 of 1 Chronicles chapter 4, scripture tells us that, And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, O oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thine hand might be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. It is amazing what scripture tells us next. It continues to say, And God granted him that which he requested. Hallelujah! I would like to emphasize the fact that our Father and the Lord tells us today that any curse on your life or family can also be cancelled today if you refuse to continue living under it. To be set free from the limiting powers of curses, you must first get tired of that situation and refuse to be a part of that negative spiritual manipulation like in the case of Jabez whom we just read about. Scripture says that he called on the God of Israel for a change of story and the result was that God granted him that which he requested. In Genesis chapter 27 verse 40, reading from the New King James Version, Isaac was speaking to his son Esau. He said, And you will live by the sword, and shall serve your brother. And it shall come to pass, when you become restless, that you shall break his yoke from your neck. We must not forget also that God desires that we have a working relationship with him so that we can carry his glory and power. That way, no curse can find a resting place in our lives. I would like us at this point to just bow our heads and generate intolerance for any curse that may be operational in our lives or in the life of anyone around us. Why not ask the Lord today, say, Father, in my life today, let there be speedy intervention. Ask the Lord today for a change of story. If you may have noticed any form of negative pattern or the manifestation of any curse in your life, ask the Lord today, say, Father, let there be a change of story for me in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for his anointing that breaks yokes, the anointing that breaks the yokes of curses, the yokes of spiritual strongholds of wickedness. Ask the Lord today for his anointing that destroys manipulations. Let all of those break now in the name of Jesus. You can call by name whatever form of manipulation you want to seize in your life or around you. 
tell the Lord today, say in the name of Jesus, let there come to an end. They cease to exist in my life from this moment moving forward in the name of Jesus. Why not ask the Lord today also, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let my life carry your glory and power, that it will render every curse in or around my life to be nullified in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that our lives will be full of his power. Our lives will become touch not. Our lives will be full of spiritual energy, too hot for the enemy to handle. Ask the Lord today that our lives will not be a fertile ground for the manifestation of any kind of curse, whether they be curses that we know about or those that we don't. Begin to appreciate the name of the Lord, thank Him and bring your prayers to a close. Lord, we bless your name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we thank you today for your word to us. Thank you for liberating and setting us free from the bondage and the limitation of curses. We ask that in the name of Jesus, we begin to enjoy great levels of your glory in our lives from this day moving forward in the name of Jesus. We declare over our lives that no boundaries, no limitations. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's study that tells us that those who remain close to God can never be cursed. We receive the grace today to abide in Him and to make him our dwelling place in Jesus' name. We also have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 8 down to chapter 12. We want to sincerely thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn, one of our Open Heavens devotional. We will be singing, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. As we go forth today, we declare in the name of Jesus that only the goodness of the Lord manifests in our lives. Have an awesome weekend ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now.
out from the fort. He runs out from the fort. And he will save you by his grace. And crown him, crown him, crown him, crown him, crown him, crown him, crown him. This devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.